Once we have entered all the data for our calculation, it's now time to actually do the calculation. This can be done by clicking on the calculate button. As you can notice, there are also other infusion and enteral feeds which may be added as part of the TPM solution. So when you click on calculate and you have not added this, you are going to be asked for a warning or a confirmation whether you want to add this information. You can choose to continue or you can add some infusions. We shall not add anything more but simply try and calculate or calculate. The system is also checking whether we are under any correct limits for dextrose infusion rate or the calorie nitrogen ratio and it gives you a warning. This warning is because we need to see it's the doctor's discretion whether to continue or not. In this case, let's continue the calculation. As you can see, we have seen a nutri summary sheet which comes pops up right in front of us and we can see that the dextrose infusion rate is currently 12.5. Depending on the condition of the baby, if this is fine, you can you may choose to continue. As part of our nutrition, we can also see that we get all the additives that are there and their marketing names like amino and infant, concentrated ringer lactate, potphos, 10% calcium gluconate, 50% magnesium sulfate, multivitamins, and since we have central line we also see that there is an addition of heparin here. Now, uh, we can see the dextrose 10% and dextrose 50% in use. However, if you so desire not to use dextrose 50, but wish to use any other concentration of dextrose that you have, the system will pop up the relevant options. The, in this case, if we choose 25%, it will do the, it will recalculate everything and make the changes instantaneously. Similar kind of recalculations can also be done if you want to manipulate some factors right now. Say, let's give a little more proteins to the baby and see what happens. You can click on calculate and instantaneously we are given newer values. Maybe we decide to add a little more to the fluids. Let's say 190 and calculate. We can see that our dextrose infusion rate is increased. So if this is acceptable, you should continue, but it's recommended to actually be under 180. Once this is done, you can print a report. A report printing a report is a PDF file which can be used for filing. This opens a new window which will get me a PDF file with all the information about the Nutri plan. As we can see, we can get detailed information not only about the nutrients but also about the calories, the fat and this report can be directly filed.